Hi, this is Avril Kadabra. Today we're just going to make a quick pattern on the Dirty Wave M8 to show the workflow. This is the song screen. These are the eight tracks. This is the tempo. This will show what note is playing in those eight tracks. And this is like a navigation shortcut. So let's start making it. I tend to use zeros for a blank space, so we're going to start with one in track one. If we go inside this, this is the chain window, we're going to put a one in here. If we go inside that, we will get to a blank pattern. Now if we just press a button here, we'll get a note. So we've got a super saw here, so it's a note C, octave four, volume or velocity. 64, instrument 1, these are three effects lanes. So let's put some notes down. So that'll do. So we'll tell it to play that pattern four times. This row on the side here is for transposing, so we'll say transpose it up two semitones, then up three, then go back down. Let's start from here. Yeesh. That sounds better. So let's put a kick down. I'm going to put four of these just so it's the same amount as the other one, so things stay in sync. So that's our four on the floor done. Let's uh, throw in some 909 hats. That's pretty quick. We can't put a snare in here as well because there's no room. So we'll make that in a separate track. Add a bass line. We can um, copy and paste as well. Two and five. So let's listen to that all together. That's pretty cool. So if we wanted to sort of make it like a track, we'll start off with the, uh, the bass line. Then we'll bring in the drums. Then we'll bring in the snares. Then we'll bring in the super saw.
So we're going to go into this zero now and add some blank spaces. That should keep everything lined up. Alright, let's hear our little song. it is to get something going on the dirty wave m8 i hope you like this and i'll see you in the next video